Hi, this is Will Gray 42, and today I'm going to be talking about long weapons. Uh, this was actually asked by a couple of people, and I'm sorry it took so long to do so. When dealing with weapons that are taller than your head, now for this I'm going to use my staff. Now, if this was a spear or pole arm, you would actually use this area as well. Uh, for your pole arm. Now, one of the questions I was asking is, how do you choke up once you've already, once you've gotten into a high strike? You have to work it like a cube, like a pool cube. You slide the other one back and then replace this hand, while this hand can still have control. So you can make a long shot and then bring it back. All right. Now the strikes are exactly the same as I've been doing all along. This is a one, this is a two, this is a three, this is a four. Now, do you notice that as I strike, I switch up each time. One of the uses for that is for every time that you make a strike and you pull that strike away, there can be another strike coming in. As that one pulls away, you can have another strike coming in, having another one, having another one. This is one of the ways to get a lot of attacks in quick as attack, 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 attack. Now, I put another set of streamers on mine, which is actually one of the oldest set of streamers I have. It used to go on my small spear. And I'm using that, I use that on this for two reasons. One, I think it looked cool. The second one has to do with once this starts moving, your eyes will be pulled towards the color. It's natural human tendency to have your eyes drawn towards moving color. And since the rest of the weapon is dark, your eyes will be pulled towards this color. And so you'll always be looking where the weapon was, not where the weapon is. Now, if you can look past that, good for you, right on. Um, one thing that I have to mention about long weapons, even though this looks so cool, in the end, right here, you're completely useless as a weapon. Well, you're not completely useless, and I take that back, but you understand what I'm talking about. Well, this is good for showmanship and for using in demonstrations. In the end, using those type of moves um, can put you in a bad position and leave you not ready. When in an actual combat, an actual situation, I would suggest keeping the weapon in front of you, not back here. This, I mean, this is cool and all, and you can make strikes and so on and so forth, but in an actual fight, keep the weapon in front of you. Try to keep the center of the weapon, if it's a staff, with your body. It doesn't have to be up against your body, but using these attacks on a long distance, if you're attacked by someone else going this way real fast, where you can have long strikes against them, your range is now a disability. If they can step in past it and move, this is this much of handle that they can grab and use against you. So, when using a staff, spear, pole arm, any of these items, try to keep this area, which is the danger area for you, close to you. So they have to move past the whirling bladed doom of death to get to it. Now, as well, your strikes are going to be short, mid-range, long-range, and with each of those, you can shoot from a middle range to a short range and use this whole thing as a wall for guarding. You can block here, here, you can block high, you can block low, you can block here, then block here, then block here. So you have multiple angles in which to work with. Now, this will be the last video I do of basic weapons. Because from here on in, I mean, we've covered sh short range weapons, mid range weapons, long range weapons, and <laughs> really, really, really long weapons. And yes, you can have longer weapons than this, but at that point, 
it becomes the more distance that you have the harder it is to control uh, daggers are the most easiest to control where pole arms are the hardest to control and where you do have range people are like oh I need the range every inch of range that you give yourself is an another inch of negative once someone gets in right here so as long as you can keep a good defense then yeah, use your range all you like I'm Wu grade 42 this is a basic understanding of spear and staff from here on in, like I said, will be my more advanced stuff, where I'll, I'll go back to sword, and then come back around to this and cycle through a few times. So if you have questions, and if I'm not giving you enough information here, by all means, write to me, put comments, um, say, okay, I, now I need to understand how to do this, and I will do my very best to try to explain it to you, so I can pass on knowledge. This is Will Gray 42. Thank you very much. Love what you do.